Hi, I'm Jason from New Grind. Uh, we're on a new site here. And first thing to do is determine how hard the concrete is so we know what bond of tooling that we're going to have to use. So one of the ways to do that is using a Mohs hardness kit. I'll show you how to use that. So the Mohs hardness kit is a selection of different picks that are made out of different hardness of materials. We have all the way down to a two, which is essentially an acrylic, three copper, all the way up to hardness level of number nine. The only thing really harder than that is diamond. So to use these, you take the pick, hold it in your hand, exactly the same as you would a pen. And using the same pressure as you would when you're writing, you take it and you just do a little scratch on the floor. So here we did with a number six, and we can see that it is scratching the, the concrete. If you slide the, the pick across it, it should be able to you should be able to feel that little scratch. If you can't, it's not really deep enough. You go up one more. So let's try the seven. Seven will do it. So when we, when we get to there, which one is scratching the floor, we know that concrete falls around six and a half to seven. So we would want to go with a softer bond tooling. If you take the light one, you can see it does absolutely nothing. It won't scratch that concrete. Now, a couple disclaimers with this is when you are using them, remember I said use pressure like you would when you're writing. You can make this very soft material scratch this if you push excessively on it, but that'll give you a false reading on the floor. The other thing to note too is concrete uh, varies a lot through a job. So the hardness that we have here might be different on the other side of the building. So it's good, a good idea to do a few scratch tests throughout the, the project. And also, the cream on top of a concrete is often a lot softer than the concrete underneath. So this is very much just a starting place. It's not meant to be definitive to use a certain bond in your job, but just gives you a rough idea of where you can start and then you see how your tooling is reacting to that specific concrete and adjust from there. For more tips and tricks on how we can help out on your project, visit newgrind.com.